hello everybody in this video we are going to create a uwin function and when we reach the final point finish point we should win the game so um, and also there is a time limit so we have to reach the finish point within the time so uh, what we can do we can create another uh, panel for uwin so i will just duplicate this panel by pressing ctrl d and now we can hide this panel and this new panel we can rename it to uwin panel okay or any other name you can assign so now inside uwin panel we have a game over text and we will name it uwin text and here we will add uwin So that's nice. Uh, now we have replay, and we will also make the color to green because we are winning. So green color is fine for you win screen. And now we have replay function. So we will rename it to uh, next, and we will add a separate uh, sprite for this for next. So I already have downloaded a. Uh, sprite from google uh, for next button and we can place it over here and now we will just uh, scale it so i will just select the icon and we, we can scale it like this so that's nice now we have to add function on this button so we already have uh, added this loading object here on click function and we will load the level so I will load level 2 so uh, also I have created another level uh, level 2 here you, you can see you can create a new another level uh, like this level 2 and this level 2 is blank so we have added this level 2 in build uh, settings as well so uh, before testing you have to lo load levels here as well so then uh, this function will work okay so now we have uh, this panel everything is fine we can just hide this panel now cubin panel and then we can go to scripts and we will add a script here and we can name it you win script or any other name you can assign whatever you want so now we will open this script inside visual studio and then we will add a little program so it's taking some time okay so now script is uh, opened here first of all we will create a variable for game object so we will add public game object and we will name it you win panel also we want to play the sound uh, when it reaches to final destination so we will add audio source and we will name it uh, win audio okay so now we will create a function so we will create a trigger function so we will uh, write here void on trigger enter and then uh, collider other and then we will uh, write here if statement if and then we will say other dot tag equal to <coughs> and we will add a tag here I will add tag for player so if other dot tag equal to player then what happen so we will say uh, that you win panel dot set active to
and uh, the audio source win audio dot play okay so it will play the win audio so also uh, also we want to make time stop so we will make it time dot time scale equal to 0 f okay so that's it very short script now we will add the script to finish object so we will go to unity and here we will just uh, move to finish point so uh, here it is so we will move to finish point and yes here we can add another cube okay so uh, inside finish point uh, we will add another cube 3d object and cube and now we will scale this cube and you can see that uh, we have cube somewhere else uh, here too far so what we can do we will just delete this cube and we will just okay the uh, actually the anchor point is too far so what we can do we can just uh, go to this cube and we can duplicate this cube control D and then we can scale this cube new cube and we can rename it to finish cube okay so after that we will make it uh, bigger a little bit bigger and we will just add it here okay so after that we will add our script on this cube okay uh, so we can add the script uvm and also we can trigger it okay so trigger uh, should be active to work for uh, this script so now here in uvm panel uh, we we can drag drop our panel which we have created uvm panel and then win audio we will add this uh, we will add the audio win audio so here you can see that we don't have uh, yeah we have this lose audio so we'll duplicate this and we will name it to win audio and then we will change the audio for the win uh, so here uh, there is a win sound mp3 I will drag drop this mp3 here and now everything is fine I think and sedan player car we have to tag it player okay so so that's it now if uh, we can hide the mesh uh, render so now mesh is not visible and now we can play the game and let's see what will happen so yeah, we didn't add the audio here so it will show us one error so I will just add the audio and then we will replay so let's wait for some seconds just <coughs> go out and we will select the finish cube and win audio we will place it here now we will play the game so I will just move backward for testing this trigger so let's see what will happen so now we will move backward and yeah now you can see that when we reach this point we have win the game okay and if we click on next level you can see the next level is loaded now so that's nice we have added the uh, finish Q 
cube as well of uh, this uh, Juvin functionality and the last thing what we can do that we don't want that car should go uh, backward and uh, the player should win so we can duplicate this finish cube and we can place it here and we will just uh, make it mesh visible and you win script we will delete it so now uh, it can't move uh, backward also we have to uh, uncheck this trigger option so ah uh, trigger option we should disable and mesh render should be there so we will hide the mesh render and box collider is trigger should be disabled so now our car can't move backward from this point okay so let's see so if we move backward yeah we can't go back so we have to go uh, f in forward direction so that's nice I will uh, run the lap uh, one time and then I will check that how much time will spend till here and then we will limit the time uh, accordingly so that's it for this video we have successfully created our juvin function let's meet in next video goodbye